Okay, quick idea here. I have to go work out. It's already 527. But, um, the soul. Well, I don't think, if, if you believe that, uh, why well, I don't like the religious idea of the how religious functions uh, define a soul. I just saw a street back there, it's called Kirstensen. And let's say they soul, let's say everything is emanating from a field of consciousness, all reality, let's call it that consciousness source, it just frees a conversation. Uh, or that field of consciousness, I'm an emanation of it, the tree is, the bird is, every deity, every belief structure, everything around you is coming from that, or an idea, which, you know, if I have an idea about how to make a better wheel, um, then, you know, that's still within that field of whatever, that field of consciousness, or it gets imprinted in that, my idea about a new wheel, let's say I have a heart attack and die the next day, that idea then is still in that field of consciousness and somebody else might be able to access that later with a eureka moment. Anyway, the point is this with the soul, it seems like you're binding yourself to, let's say, the belief structures which have souls in them, you're binding your, yourself to certain almost abusive paths. You know, things saying you have to wear the color green, you have to tie the 1% of your money, you have to have a certain car, go to church on, or go to some religious function on you know one, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you have to do all these things, and then you get access to a soul, something that's going to save you from eternal hellfire or damnation. Um, I'm not anti-Christian. I'm not, you know, pro or, or um, I'm not a protagonist or an antagonist for any, you know, belief structure. It's not my intention. My intention is just purely for, you know, just to think and maybe think of something a little bit progressive. But if everything is emanating from that field of consciousness, I was thinking about a street there. There's a street there called Christensen, and uh, that street... The label Christensen was something that somebody named it um, in you know honor of something, um, whatever. But that street, if you take the label away, it still leads to wherever it was made to go. So if you think about that, um, if you take the label away of soul and you're just energy and emanation of consciousness, then if your actions are good, you're still going to get to where you're going, if that makes sense. So that's why I don't like to get into the idea of what a soul is or isn't. It just seems almost like a, like a slave uh, mentality, like this thing that really slaves your your brain, um, or excuse me, like, uh, puts your brain in bondage to certain groups, ideologies, or belief structures. And, you know, in reality, if you can just be epic, be kind, be humble, be, you know, a moral, ethical person in reality towards others, then you'll understand, you know, that's, you don't need the other things to, you know, put your faith in, unless you so choose to put your faith in those things based on tradition, or, you know, some other whatever the hell. So I don't want to, you know, sound like I'm for or against anything. It's not my intention. It's not to be evil. I don't believe, you know, evil is an emanation of consciousness, let's say. You know, this field of consciousness source. So it's good. So it's kind of like align your actions, your energy, um, with what you want to be in life. It doesn't mean you're going to, like, manifest a Mercedes. I mean, you would have to go work for it. You'd have to show, you know, that you, you'd have to go earn it. Um, it's not just going to appear in your driveway if you sit there and visualize it all day. So I'm not trying to insult people that do that, but I just... Just a thought I had about soul. It just seems like a lot of people, the way they view stuff is very um, belittling. You wouldn't want to be a part of something that said you could, you know, you can only access this next place, this place of wonders of, you know, virgins and, you know, golden palm trees and eternal life and all these things if you align yourself to certain belief structures. Because, like, think of all the negativity that's put into those belief structures within that belief structure, within the religion or spiritual practice. There's a lot of negativity. Think of all the people that have died. So it's like, wouldn't it be more... I don't know if you want to call it higher mind evolved because that sounds cheesy too. So at least I don't mean insulting based belief. It just sounds judgmental, belittling. But um, doesn't it sound a little bit better if you can just learn and then be good on your own and then not be consumed with pride or ego and just you know just be good for the sake of being good because you understand what it feels like to be treated as an adult or be, feel like you know what it feels like to be treated as let's say an equal to someone next to you or to be treated with kindness. So you return that favor because you are an ethical, moral individual and you understand what that's like and that's, you know, what helps the world function. Uh, so anyway, just a thought on soul. I don't think that soul is... I think that concept has a lot of really good stuff attached to it. It also a lot of very negative stuff. And that negative stuff comes from, you know, that you're going to have hellfire and damnation if you don't pledge your soul to, you know, some belief that has been around full of, you know, torment and agony and pain towards people that didn't believe with it. That just seems like you're picking up all that belief, that energy that's been shoved into that belief structure, and then you're taking the soul part out. But it's kind of like somebody gives you a foot long sub, and you just want the pickles. But there's all that other stuff that's in the sub. You, it's kind of hard to deny, like you know, that the pickle was once a part in the sub. It's kind of like that's really crazy when you think about it. So anyway, just just an idea.